Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek sponsored by Dell and Intel. Today's topics include the start of pre-orders for the Samsung's Gear S3 smartwatch on November 6, the release of Huawei's newest fitness wearable, the launch of Google's rich communication services messaging for Sprint and Android phones, and Intel's new drone that's designed specifically to display aerial light shows. Samsung started pre-orders on November 6 for its latest Gear S3 Frontier and classic smartwatches, which will be generally available for purchase on November 18th. The Gear S3 smartwatches, which will start at $350, include the Frontier watch in two versions, a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth model and a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and LTE model, as well as the classic model, which is equipped only with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. The Frontier model has a more rugged styling, while the classic version looks more like a traditional digital watch and has a sleeker look that's designed to appeal to business professionals. Huawei has launched its latest wearable device, the $130 Huawei Fit Sports Watch, which provides multi-sport fitness tracking, heart rate and sleep monitoring, automatic step counting, and more on a circular always-on display. Huawei designed the Fit to bridge the gap between a full smartwatch and a dedicated fitness tracker. It has an aluminum body that comes in two finishes, Moonlight Silver and Titanium Gray, three wristband colors which will be available in black, available exclusively at Best Buy through early January, blue and orange. Following the exclusive Best Buy arrangement, the devices will also be sold through Amazon, Newegg, and other retailers. The Fit features a 1.04 inch circular black and white touchscreen display, 256 kilobytes of memory, 16 megabytes of onboard storage, and an 80 megahertz rechargeable battery that lasts up to six days on a charge with normal use. Google's efforts to push broad adoption of rich communication services for cross-operator messaging on mobile devices appear to be gaining traction. The company announced on November 4th that it has launched RCS messaging for Sprint customers that are using Android phones. The new support will allow Android users to conduct group chats, send high-resolution photos, receive and read receipts, and generally do more of the chat than they currently are able to do with standard short message service. Sprint subscribers will see RCS support and Messenger for Android becoming available in 2017. All new Android devices from Sprint will have the RCS-enabled version of Messenger enabled by default on their system starting next year. In recent months, Intel has been demonstrating how aerial drones can be used for entertainment purposes. The company set a world record earlier this year by putting 100 drones into the air simultaneously, all of which were controlled by a single pilot. But on November 4th, Intel unveiled a new drone designed specifically for light shows and announced that the company in October had set a new Guinness World Record by having 500 of the drones, called the Intel Shooting Star, in the air at the same time, again being controlled by a single pilot in a demonstration presented in Germany. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast and check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.